Hello. <laughs> Thank you for following along the Far Phonics journey so far. Uh, we started um, with doing some phase three and phase two sounds. I began phase three sounds where the majority of children in reception would have been at the start of the lockdown due to the COVID-19 virus. So that meant that the sounds that I didn't cover at the very start of phase three were these ones. J, m, w, x, qu, y, z, and z. I've tried to cover those in the revisit section of the phase three videos, but I will be doing those sounds as I come to the end of the phase two videos I've been doing so that they are part of the collection of the Far Phonics videos as well. But in doing your as my final phase three video, it means that we're coming into phase four. Phase four has no new sounds to learn. It's a consolidation time, time to encourage the children to use the sounds that they know to read words and to begin to read longer words and to be more automatic at their reading and their decoding. So children entering phase four will be able to represent, should be able to represent the phonemes that we've seen so far in phase two and phase three videos. For example, they will be able to represent a, as in cat, a, as in rain, and as we saw more recently, your, as in pure. So they'd be able to recognise these in their reading and be having a go at writing them too when they're spelling. So they'll be able to blend and to read CVC words. Now CVC means consonant, vowel, consonant, just like on the countdown game. But I'm going to write a CVC word using cat. So cat, we've got, put that one out, the consonant, the vowel, and the consonant. Okay? I can also write a CVC word with A because it's a vowel, it's a vowel digraph. So rain would also be a CVC word. So we'd be expecting them to be able to have a go at writing those too, because you've got the consonant, the vowel, and the consonant. Another example of a CVC word using a digraph would be ship, because sh is a consonant digraph. So sh, then there's your i for your vowel, and p for your consonant. So there's some examples of some CVC words that you should be able to have a go at writing and at reading. They should know the letter names. So that's the alphabet song that we sing at, every, at the beginning of every phase three video. And thank you to the children for helping to create that. So they're the letter names. When I'm at school and I'm covering the letter names, I call them by Mr or Mrs. So, for example, We've got the letter B and we say, hello, Mr. B. And Mr. B says, B. He doesn't say his name, he says his sound, B. Let's have a look at another one we might do. F. So we say, hello, Mr. F. And Mr. F says, F. And that's the way that I, um, I work on those with the children as well as singing the alphabet song at the beginning of every session and having a vision, a visual of the letters as we say them, as we sing them. So hopefully that the, the alphabet song has helped with that too. So the purpose of phase four then is to consolidate adjacent consonants. For example, st in stamp. St is not a digraph, it's a blend. We're blending those two sounds, st, together as quickly as we can. My board's getting covered in letters. I hope this is clear to follow. So in stamp, I'm going to put a dot under every sound. So we've got a sound here, here, here and here. So s, t, a, m, p, stamp. But to make it easier, you can begin to blend sounds together. So instead of s, t, we're going to blend them even quicker than that. St, amp, stamp. 
becomes easier for the children to decode and becomes more automatic and their reading becomes more fluent. So phase four would cover things like that. So some blends, st and ult as in melt and scr as in scrunch. So you're blending those sounds together. It's encouraging the children to really hear those sounds and to blend them together quickly to make their reading more fluent and their decoding more speedy. So that's one of the things that we cover in phase four. Another thing is polysyllabic words. I love that word, polysyllabic, more than one syllable. For example, in our your video we just did, I did padlock, so padlock. Fun game that you can play with the children is with their name. Calling, if you've got more than one child, or you've got pets in the house, or you've got, you're calling aunties or uncles through FaceTime, you could say, let's call. <coughs> Who could that be? Who could that be that we could call? For me, that was Auntie Melanie. So you could have a go at, at doing names using clapping and finding syllables. I've got a game that we're going to play in our first phase four video, which is going to be all about polysyllabic words. So that will be a little bit of a whistle stop tour for you guys watching with the children to see what the polysyllabic word examples could be. So phase four, supporting automatic reading of words, um, supporting the children to become more fluent as they decode words and also as they recognise more tricky words. Uh, words will become longer, it's going to be a real focus on blending and really hearing and picking out sounds as we read and as we spell them. So I'm excited to go on the next part of our phon far phonics journey as we do a little bit of phase four and then we start into phase five. See you soon.